There is a feature of JShell that lets you run commands at startup. Whenever you start a JShell session, you can run a few commands. So if you're working on an environment where you need certain things set up uh, every time you start a session, you can have that be a part of a startup script and have it run every time. So the way to do this is, first of all, by creating a file which contains that startup script. So for instance, let's say I do a slash slash reset so that it's we're starting from a clean slate. Let's say I want to declare a variable called i, which is an integer, which is going to contain the value of 10. I seem to have done that pretty much every video in this tutorial. So I guess it helps to have that as a startup script. So what I'm going to do is create a integer i equals 10, right? Oops. Int i equals 10. Now I want this to be set up as a startup script. So what I'm going to do is uh, save this slash save and then startup dot jsh and now this is saved as a startup script and now I can do a slash reset and then uh, now the variables are gone and I can of course technically open startup dot jsh and now I have the variables here but that's not what we're looking for we're looking for something that uh, creates that variable every time you start a new session without having to do an open. So the way to do this is by doing a slash set startup and then the name of the file, startup.jsh. Sorry about that, it's actually start. Slash set start, startup.jsh. If I do this, I am going to have that file run on every startup. So if I say a slash reset and now I do a slash wars, so you see here, int i equals 10 is persisted. Technically not persisted, but what's happened is once you do a reset, not only does it clear out the session, it also executes your startup script. And that's done by doing the slash set start. Now the problem here is you this works in the same session. So every time you do a slash reset, it is going to run the startup. But then if you were to exit it, exit the session, and then uh, start jshell again, and then do a slash wars, it's gone. So it's good that you can run a startup script and uh, put that into the JShell preferences, but the problem is even the preferences doesn't persist across sessions. Then you might ask, well, what's the point of a startup script? Well, you can have JShell remember uh, to save that startup by doing a slash set start startup.jsh, just pass a flag called retain dash retain. And now what's gonna happen is, like if I do a slash reset, it resets the state, and then I can do a slash wars, it's available, and I can exit, and then come back to the session, and even in a new session, if I type slash wars, that still persists. So if you do a dash retain with your slash set start command, it is going to retain this across sessions. But hold on, we're not yet done. Notice what happens when I do a slash imports now. There is nothing. But if you remember, JShell had some automatic imports that it kind of came with. But guess what? That was also being done because of a startup script that kind of came out of the box with JShell. Now that you have specified your startup script, it has kind of overridden that startup script. And now all those uh, imports that kind of came out of the box no longer come out of the box, you've overridden that. So it's JShell is running your startup script and not the JShell's startup script. So technically you can solve this problem by adding all the imports you want into your startup.jsh and then it is going to apply that in every session. The other alternative is to tell JShell slash set start startup.jsh. You can, when you're doing this, and of course, dash retain, when you're doing this, you can tell JShell to hold on to the existing defaults and then add this on top of it. You do that by specifying the word default, all caps, at the end. And when you do this, it is going to apply your startup file, but then it is also going to retain the defaults and it is going to retain your startup file across multiple sessions. So let's try that out. I'm gonna do a slash exit now, start a new JShell session. And now here when I do a slash imports, the default imports all exist, so the default startup script is running. And then if I do a slash wars, you see it has my startup script as well. So this is something that you can use. This is a feature of JShell you can use. 
if you want to customize your JShell session so that every time you start a session, it has the right variables, the right imports, the right data types, everything is available, immediately start working with JShell.